Hey everybody and welcome back to another Using the Forge video. In this video I'm going to show you how to do new attributes such as stats and skills and I'm going to show you how to automate calculations so that you can have these values generate their value based on what else is on your sheet. So if I go over to my actor I can add new attributes using the attributes tab at the top. Here if I wanted to add a new stat I could go ahead and hit new attribute, pick a unique macro key, and then set up the name of this attribute. Now I could put it to 12, I could put it to 0, I could make the value pull by clicking on it and typing in a macro. In this case I would take the raw value of my dex and then it gets set up here. Now I can set the minimum value and add modifiers and do anything of the sort. Once I'm done, I can go back to the sheet. And most sheets will have the stat appear automatically in your stat bar. Note that this is not always the case, but I'll go over that in further detail when I talk about the sheet building. Once you have a new attribute, you can actually automate how that attribute gets assigned its value. We can do this in the math tab here. You'll notice that this sheet already has a bunch of automatic calculations. These are from the system I'm using, but I can easily just clear them out if I don't want them to actually do anything. Once I have a clear sheet, I can make my agility value, stats AG, actually get assigned a dynamic value. So let's say every time this sheet updates I want the agility value to be the bonus of my my dexterity plus the bonus of my strength. Now you'll notice the value over here gives me the resulting value. Once I save this, this calculation will always be enforced whenever this sheet updates. So in the case of, let's say, I want to change my strength modifier to 3, you'll actually notice that my stats value, for, or my, my value for my agility, goes up to 4. Now this is a pretty general case, but you can see how useful this could be. In addition, I can actually put some sort of condition whether or not this value will be applied by simply clicking on this little question mark here. This lets me enter in a macro condition. So if this macro returns a 1, then the agility calculation will actually execute and be applied to your sheet. So let's say I only want this to happen when my HP is greater than 5. So if I'm wounded, it won't actually happen that way. So now you'll notice it highlights green. This is because this condition is working. This is happening right now, so this is being enforced. If I added another stat with a condition that was actually HP less than or equal to 4, you'll notice it highlights red. And I can actually put an automation thing in here so that it only takes the dex value. Now if I save this calculation, you'll notice here, and then I change my HP to fulfill that macro condition, you'll notice my agility value now only matches my dexterity value here. So now you can pretty much understand that's how automation works in GMForge. If you want to add in some sort of auto calculating stat you can start using the macro language by checking out the guide on our steam guides page in the next video i'll be going into how to actually use these with a custom sheet but as always guys thanks for watching and i'll see you guys in the next video